In this video we will continue the descriptive analytics. In last class I mentioned that you have to use uh, data to represent in, in um, visualization formats, graphs or plots. But can we represent the data using tables? So have you used tables uh, in your study to represent your data? Or have you used the tables for your uh, day to day purpose? Have you used the data in the table format? Have you seen it? Uh, please list down uh, where you have seen this data or which data can be uh, reported in tables. Uh, after you listing it down, let's the video to continue. So, these are examples of tables, there are a lot of lot more, I am just uh, giving few examples. Uh, you might have seen report cards, uh, it is better represented in tables because uh, we are not uh, showing a trend or we are not comparing with someone. It is just a report card of one student or uh, one particular work, one particular task. Report cards, we use a lot of tables. And uh, if you want to compare uh, two different values, say product A and product B, and they use tables, right? Tables is more easier way because we can compare these two values. And in tables, we can also write text, numerics, different values in a single table. And for decision tables, like uh, for, uh, to, for logics to take a decision, what is the next step? You can represent that in the table and you saw um, tables uh, in a form of confusion matrix uh, representing our results in a table. So, we mentioned that tables can be used for data representation. Still why we are talking about uh, using graphics or visuals to represent data. So, the graphs the main purpose is uh, to represent large data. Table data can be shown say 50 students data or uh, someone can crawl the data. But you have say 50 students data over the last 5 years, this data is overwhelming right, the too much data and uh, how, how to represent this data, we are not making any inference from the data. Instead you can represent the large data in terms of statistical values like a mean, average in a graph. So, the user or the viewer can understand what the data means. So, to get a sense of the data and easy to comprehend. So, you can uh, say this particular uh, data trend uh, 2015 is doing good compared to 2016 something like that. You can talk about the data easily instead of uh, in a table format. Also it provides a sense of data and you can show the trend in the data changes over time. You can compare um, the data and correlation like what is the correlation between attendance and performance can we see any comparison between these two variables or you can use this graphs to make inferences. Tables data is good you can make inferences, but graphical representation is easy to make representations. Also the distribution value of the data can be shown easily in the graph uh, or the plots or the visualizations. And do not forget that uh, this words like a picture is worth a thousand words. So, you can have a long table, uh, give all the information in table the user wants, but just a picture is enough to talk about all the data. So, what is this visualization? It is not started now. The first attempt to visualization was 6000 years ago with uh, cartography by scratching a map on the stone. So, the aim of visualization is to communicate accurate and complicated data in a format where the user can understand easily. If you have a complicated data in table, that of comparisons, lot of inferences within the table, it is tough to communicate with the uh, end user. The aim is to communicate this complicated data, but in a easier representation for the user can get the inference easily. The idea of data visualization should revolve around three things. So, when you talk about I want to represent data in the graph formats, what are the three important things you have to see? The first is what you want to communicate that is basically on your research question what you want to highlight in this particular topic. The next is the audience, you may, um, you may say the audience may have their own bias or the audience may have one perception. So, you have to consider the data should remove all the audience bias, they should have all the uh, values included all the outlays has been removed or you have to represent all the information in the graph itself. And most importantly the data, yes the data uh, based on the depends on the data, the data visualization will change. To summarize, um, 
in this video we saw what is tables and uh, what are the visualizations and uh, this video is for um, motivating uh, that we ought to use visualizations what to consider when you do visualizations thank you